Oh, hello there. Welcome to uh, real VR fishing. Just enjoying a nice evening on my deck outside my lodge. Thought we'd take some time to go through how to get started in this game. This is one of the first games I got for uh, the Oculus Quest. Uh, right now I'm playing the Rift version through Virtual Reality Desktop. You can catch this video later at youtube.com slash substatica and you can watch me live at uh, twitch.tv slash substatica. So let's dig into it. This is our lodge. Uh, movement is on teleport right now just because that's the default for the game. There are options for uh, slow continuous and fast continuous. This is our lodge. We got our tank or aquarium over there. We got a nice hearth. Keep us cozy. A little bit of a lounge. The fish we catch we can put into our aquarium. Uh, I haven't really progressed anywhere in uh, the Rift version here. My progress is on the quest. Uh, but that's perfect because I can show you the beginning of the game and, and how to get started here and how to catch some fish. Uh, this game has had a, an update recently that um, has allowed multiplayer, which is really great because you can sit on shore or in a boat with your, your friend uh, across the world and uh, do some fishing, listen to music, watch YouTube videos, all fantastic stuff. Uh, so let's uh, start off with some of that. Um, not that we're going to do multiplayer right now, but uh, I'll just show you. You've got a little room here where you can adjust your avatar. There we are. Not a lot of options up here, uh, but it gets the job done. So you come in here, get your avatar done, and then uh, hook up with some friends. For now, we're going to do uh, some solo fishing. Here's our main kind of control interface. The map has the locations that we can travel to to go fishing, and you unlock those as you progress through the game. Here I've only unlocked the first two. And then we have kind of fishing tackle, our gear. Right now, uh, I think I was about to buy another lure. What do we have here? We have a spoon. Oh, no, I wasn't. You kind of have to unlock things and then gain access. That gives you access to purchase them. And we'll talk about how you get money um, in a second when we're fishing. And we have uh, fish. Um, we haven't really caught much. And you, when you catch fish, you have the choice whether to... Um, set them free which gives you experience or or keep them and if you keep them they should show up in here um but i'm not seeing any in here so i'm not sure uh what the deal is there maybe the one i caught is just not interesting enough to appear uh, in these options for our our tank uh, you can customize your lodge uh, again those are in the store to unlock here's the store with things to buy with cash uh, we've got multiplayer, leaderboard, um, uh, but let's go back to map and let's get, let's get to fishing. So like I said, um, choose a spot, South Korea. I believe the, the developers are in South Korea and that's why all these locations are in South Korea. They said they'd have to uh, travel to, um, to add more locations. So here we've got our uh, rod, reel, we've got our fish, we put our glasses on so we're seeing the fish. The colors of the fish is indicates their, their uh, basic interest in the lure that you're using or the bait that you're using. Uh, so we can pull up uh, with the right controller button. We can pull up our gear loadout for lack of a better term. Um, we've got our spoon lure, we've got freshwater spinning reel, and uh, our spinning rod. So that's our current loadout. So once we change the uh, lure, it's going to change maybe the attitude of some of these fish. Let's grab our rod again. So to cast, you know, I don't know, you can look for the biggest fish that's, that's green, or you can aim for one of the yellow ones. They might bite. But basically you want to hold the trigger down. Pull the rod back, 
And as you cast, release the trigger. And uh, that was kind of a terrible one, but maybe we'll get that guy. He's, he's kind of going over to it. You want to have your other controller close to the, the reel. And you're going to pull the trigger to grab the reel like that. And, you know, reel in. There we go. That indicator means that pull up on the rod and you've got a fish on. That arrow indicator means turn that way. Turn, uh, hold the rod in that direction until it fills up. And basically the blue and the red are tension on the line. You want to keep reeling to keep the tension in the middle. And if the tension uh, gets into the red, you want to let go of the reel. So uh, you're, you're giving them some slack to run or whatnot. And push the rod in that direction. We lose tension usually when they jump, so you really got to reel in fast. And then when they get close enough, you get an arrow and you just give a little jerk up. And uh, you've caught a fish. Look at him there. So common carp, you can either release him or her for 9 experience or keep for 27 credits. Uh, so we want to get to level 3, I think, to unlock some of the purchasables. Right now we're at level 2. You can see that up there. So let's, let's release him or her. And we're back to it. Can admire the rainbow. Uh, as you can see now, there's no, no fish in sight. As soon as you pull the trigger to cast again, it's going to show you the fish again. So let's see if we can aim a bit better this time. That wasn't too bad at that guy. You can grab the reel right away. Start slowly reeling in what everything is going to work. There's our indicator. Jerk it up. Start reeling. Keep that indicator in the top center if possible. All right, stop reeling. We'll let the indicator go back down towards the blue. Reeling too much, it's going to go into the red, so you guys want to stop. If it really goes into the red, you can just let go, and that's going to let it spin. And again, when they drop like that, you got to reel like crazy, and then caught another one. Serendace. He's a pretty one. So we're almost up to level three, so let's release him for another eight experience. Now we're at uh, stage three is unlocked. We've unlocked a uh, an achievement. So we'll press the trigger to close, and we cast there. So let's go see if we can buy some stuff now. Uh, I think this is locations. So now we have access to three locations as well as the lodge. We also have uh, nighttime and daytime, I guess, but we don't have access to that right now. So let's go to the lodge and uh, we'll see if we can buy another lure at least. So I think we can buy the spinner now. Uh, it is unlocked if we go up, unlocked at level six. You can see we don't have access to that. This one we can actually buy for $10. So we'll buy that. Fishing tackle specialist with with two two lures. So let's hit the map. So now we have three locations unlocked. South Korea. Well, these are all South Korea, but we have kind of this uh, bridge, the tower. We have nighttime. So let's uh, let's go to Lake Gosam. Go fishing. Uh, sitting on the shore here, taking in the sights. All right, so now let's pull up our loadout. We've got our spinner is already on there, so let's keep that. Let's see if we can see what fish are biting out here. First time you pull the trigger, you're going to get uh, that little animation of you putting your fishing glasses on. So I'm not sure this is the right lure for um, for this location because uh, well there's a lot of a lot of yellow fish not so many green ones come on come on there we go so you can kind of tell how difficult the fish is going to be by the size of the red uh, at one end of the indicator and the size of the, the the blue at the other or the turquoise or whatnot because if they're small like this that means it's going to be pretty easy to get that fish in as you don't have a lot of danger zones as far as tension. And indeed, just a little feller. So this one we're gonna keep and get the credits for. 
Let's see if we can. Having a bit of trouble getting over over that way today for some reason, but uh, we'll see. We'll keep trying. Maybe I'll try kind of a sidearm cast. This game is uh, really easy to play sitting down. You can stand up, but I, I don't know why why you'd want to necessarily. So you can see here the danger zones on the indicator are a bit larger, and we're getting you know some fight from the fish. Be ready to reel in. Uh, when you see those uh, directional indicators because when they come off that directional indicator you're gonna get a slack line that you have to take up before you end up losing the fish in uh, basically the lines too slack that's why you kinda wanna have the tension at least in the middle if not a little higher that's gonna give you some some leeway um, when they do those directional runs Croatian carp. Oh, we got some fireworks. Sweet. Uh, let's release. Try to get um, to the next level, maybe. We'll catch a few more, and then, then we'll call it. Uh, maybe we can get uh, there's... There, that's a better direction. Some fish... Ooh, right away. Some fish will show, like, a little crown in there. Uh, they're usually the more difficult ones, and they can get angry. So that means the fish is dazed. You can kind of reel like crazy to get in as much line as you can while he's dazed. And then he's back to paying attention and fighting, I guess. So we got kind of close to the red there. You want to at least stop reeling, if not let go of the reel. If you're close to the red. There you go. You don't actually have to catch the fish when you flick them out of the water. Um, it just does that automatically, but uh, it's hard to pr keep yourself from doing it. Uh, so let's get the experience and try to... I don't know how I'm getting the experience because I think I'm going to be able to port my progress over um, from the quest. But still. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Right in the, Right in the action over there. If only fishing was this easy. Come on. So it'd be really great to be able to sit with a family member that you don't live with or a, a friend who you can't uh, can't be together physically and, uh, <laughs> and catch tiny, tiny goldfish together and laugh about it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna let that one go. Maybe we'll just check out that last location after this cast. I don't think this is going to get... Oh, that one's kind of going for it. He's in the in the radius. You want it. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. It's really easy to spend a lot of time in this game. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a, or a bad thing, but... A surprisingly relaxing endeavor. There we go. A mandarin fish. Let's release him, get the experience, and uh, let's check out that other location that we unlocked. Go to map. Lake Gosan. We were there already, I think. So let's try... No. Were we? No. Let's try uh, Lake Gosan. There we go. Uh, cottage country. I don't think you can catch the, uh, the ducks. But feel free to try. Hmm. Not a lot of traffic. I was trying to go between those two, but I'm a bit off my game. Come on. Not you ducks. There we go. Epic music.
Another... Crucian Carp. So, I mean, obviously the fish are going to get bigger as you progress through the levels. We're uh, right at the beginning of the game here. Got some, uh... Some cherry blossoms or something. Some sort of flowers blowing past us. I mean, you get the hang of the reeling motion pretty easily, or at least at least I did. Your controllers aren't touching, but uh, you know, so if you're not careful, you can knock them together sometimes. But it's not um, it's not a lot of force. Stage four unlocked. We're just uh, motoring on through the levels here. Okay, we'll do one more here. We'll check out stage four, and then and then we'll we'll call it a day. This guy's gonna have a bit of fight in them. Yeah. Oh. We were in the red there, but we managed to just let it fade out. Kind of if you make a directional mistake, it can have, uh, you know, bad consequences for the catch. But otherwise, as you can see, it goes pretty smoothly. Leather carp. You made a leather release. Okay, back to our map. Lake Chunju. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's raining. I think that might be new. I don't remember rain. I guess that's one good thing about VR fishing. That you don't get wet if, uh... If that wasn't obvious. Bluegill! Hey, buddy! Little guy. All right. One more. We'll go for that. No, we won't. We'll go kind of a way I didn't expect. Kind of wanted to go for that uh, orange one in the distance. Maybe we'll reel in and we'll try to try to cast that again. Try to be a little more accurate with our casting. Still kind of went that way. Must be doing something odd with my. Uh, my arm at the moment. Another bluegill. I release you. See now, that's a that's a strange cast. Hmm. That's right. I'm gonna try. Oh, this guy's got a bit of fight in him. So you can see, this one actually, uh, the tension went up uh, after his uh, little run. So, I guess you gotta be careful, it's gonna either jump up or drop down in tension, depending on the fish and all. Obviously, it's going to get harder as the game progresses. And the fights are going to get longer. Come on, in the boat. You don't look that tough. Another common carp. Okay, what was I going to do? I'm going to try and get one of these... I don't know why that's shooting straight out in front there. It's not, I'm not used to that happening with this game. I did get over to the side once. Maybe I have to turn my whole body. Maybe that's what the deal is. A 
I just turn my uh, headset so I'm looking where I want to cast rather than just throwing my arm that direction. Let's try that this time. So release him. So. Okay, we're gonna look there. Yeah, that was, uh, that was much more in that direction. So, I guess casting is not just, um, your arm, but your, uh, your headset as well. That's better. Okay, we got a whole slew of them there, including that big... Come on. No, I don't want you guys. I want the big one. Yeah. Maybe we'll let this guy go. He's dazed. We'll see if he gets off the hook. It's going to take a while. I don't even think I can reel enough to... to get him into the red. This one's such a small fish. Just faster to just reel him in, I suppose. And back you go. Another bluegill. Almost up to level 5, but... Alright. Not what we wanted. Really want to try to get one of these orange ones. At least on the line. Okay. Is the other one going to come for it? He's not really in the radius. He's coming in. There, he's in the radius now. But we got the other one. Stage 5 unlocked, but we're not going to go there, we're going to do our best to land one of these, or at least have a fight with them. So, no, I don't don't want that one. Well, we're going to get all the fish but the ones we're aiming for. He's the only one over there. Is he going to make it in? Doesn't look interested. Let's recast that. Yeah, there's the, there's the money. Come on now. Yeah. You're interested. Come on, you're right in the center there. Okay. There is a challenge. Jumping out of the water, even. In you come. Just accept it. There we go. All right. And that's our mandarin fish. Well, there you have it. That's uh, real VR fishing. Um, the best, if not one of the best, fishing games available for uh, VR. Uh, you add the multiplayer aspect in, you really, you're really not going to get much better than that. So, you can catch this video at youtube.com slash substatica. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash substatica. Like, share, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff is appreciated. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.